This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place for you to get TCGO code cards. They already have Darkness Ablaze up on stock, so definitely check out the website and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. They have a huge variety of code cards, so you'll definitely find something you like. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a platform I personally use every day. If you're from Europe, you're obligated to check out this website. You can purchase cards on here as well as sell your own cards to people all across Europe. And uh, they have huge uh, bargain sales right here as well as best sellers. And you can even uh, purchase physical cards uh, for instance, booster boxes of the new set. So definitely check it out. Uh, my Both of my sponsors, BoatDownStore.com as well as CardMarket.com. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today it's time to check out one of Thor Reckless build. He posted this on Twitter uh, the other day and uh, we're actually obligated to check it out. It's sent to Scorch VMAX but with a twist. We're gonna use Magneton. We're gonna blow Magneton up and get three supporters and uh, we can then grab Lieutenant Search because we're gonna be behind in prize cards by blowing up the Magneton. And then we can uh, double welder. <laughs> Either we double welder or we welder or use Green's Exploration to find some resources that we want. We can even go for boss's orders in combination. So very nice to just overuse the call signal. Putting the opponent to uh, yeah, a low hand size because we can reset stamp afterwards. We're gonna go second with Flare Starter and out of nowhere they're gonna be a Sentence Scorch with like nine energy staring down the opponents. Like we're gonna one shot everything and then we clean up with Kremor and that's how it typically goes. So hopefully this will turn out okay. Uh, this is gonna be very similar to like Ms. Magis builds where you want to get out the Magneton and then you go from there and get uh, some sort of an auto win scenario. Hopefully you guys are excited. Thor Reckless, one of the most legendary players in the game, has uh, accomplished so, so much and uh, that's why we're uh, obligated to check out this list. What can we see is that Magneton gets out three supporters, so if you already have one that you want in the head, it's fine. Uh, we always want to go second with this list. I wonder what we're up against. Okay, we start immediately with the Center Scourge. We have a Quick Ball and even Evolution Incense. This is actually a very good hand. We can immediately welder onto Center Scourge, get out the Magnemite and go from there. Unless the opponent has something that can one-shot us. Ooh, it's a water deck, of course. Let's hope he doesn't have Snums. So this is going to be the Intellion deck. Funny enough, this is also a list that... Uh, Thor Reckliff put on the map by getting fourth in the player cup. So two decks facing off against each other. What can we see is that there is a snum available. Only one snum. Will he be able to like retreat, get energies, get all the good stuff? We'll see. Okay. And giant heart first. Then we use this. Two of these. We can Wilder here, then get a Quick Ball. I wonder if that's the way I should go about this. Energies in this card, eh, who knows. Wilder first. We get another Scent Scourge, awesome. We can use Quick Ball. Finding ourselves Magnemind. Magnemind can then evolve into Magneton later and we should be good from there on on. Giant Heart gets the energies. Maybe getting rid of one energy should be awesome. If he has Air Balloon, he has he's one step closer to attacking us, which is something I do not want. Gonna use the Evolution Essence right now. He could like Marnius, but it's fine as it is. Our hand is ridiculously bad anyhow. Bam! 20 damage and uh, we discard an energy, yes. Zero energy Suicune. They also run Training Cord, so maybe that was not the good, the better idea, but still. He will need three energies. Okay, research. Okay, there's a Mimikyu Throne in there, uh, specifically to face off against Mewtwo or Oracorio. There's an Air Balloon, Communication, will we see Dedenne? Probably. Okay, Dedenne is popping up, that's good news, we have Cramoran in our list. Oh, okay, let's see, if we like Welder and Welder, then we have 6 synergies in total. Is that enough to get rid of like the VMAX or the V Pokemon in general? Quick Ball. Will he have enough energies? Okay, Crobat digging deeply for those energies. Another one. He's drawing four cards. If he has, he's drawing more cards than that. Drawing five cards. He needs Capacious Bucket. 
He needs two energies. Just, this is insane. Hitting for weakness is scary. Come on. What does he have? Does he have it? Does he have it? Okay, energy with the training card. Ice dance. And we will get punished. For sure. Oh, or not. Interesting. Doesn't seem to have enough energies. Sure. So what we're gonna do is uh, get this fella up and rolling. Magneton. Okay, what else? Training cord bag, the energy. Then the giant heart popping live. Let's see, I wonder if he has boss's orders or not. I wonder. I get rid of this. Get some energies. We evolve. Okay, this guy is already doing enough damage as it is. So for now, let's go with the call signal. We knock him out, use Lieutenant Search, Welder, and I don't know, a boss's orders? So we can knock out the Frost Mod, right? That's what we want to do. Yeah, seems like a good plan to me. Ta 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 ta. Okay, let's go with this first. I think I will welder onto the other one. So we Lieutenant Search. We boss this guy. It's probably just gonna promote this guy, so we'll see what the best option is. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will just this guy is already smacking enough damage as it is. We're gonna welder onto the bench one. So the energies are a little bit divided. Two Senti Scourge V Max are live. All right now. We still have one turn left, so maybe we can do it again with another Magnemind. Should be awesome, right? Magnemind! I'm getting one energy here so we can... This guy only has 200, yeah, sure. He's probably not gonna go to the VMAX. He's still hitting for weakness, though. 160. Nothing, but we take one prize card. Come on, Evolution Incense or Green or whatever. Need to find, like, Green. Okay. So, they typically just knock out two Magnetons and just go with two Senti Scourge. He doesn't seem to have that Snom anymore, so we take that. Hydro Snipe on this guy. 120. And we get the energy back. Okay, fine. There's the green. Green's explore exploration. Okay. We can boss. <laughs> For next turn, I guess. Surge. Welder. The big charm. Ah. Evolution incense. For three supporters. We know we we're getting three supporters. The big charm as well. So we survive. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Reset stamp. We do get all the supporters, so that is not the issue. Not the issue. Maybe the big charm. Yeah, the big charm will be irrelevant if he snipes so much damage. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Evolution incense switch. Yeah, taking these for now. Don't know if that is the correct play though. So let's get Magneton. Call signal, getting him another prize card. And we get Welder. Uh, boss's orders. Research or green. All of these cards are good. Okay, let's take these. It's a very difficult deck to pilot, to say the least. Take the prize card. We attach here. Sure.
let's go with G Max. We could have also like uh, welded onto like a Cramoran or something. Could have also been fun. 120. I wonder, what does he still have left? He still has lots of energies though. Evolution in a sense, we're gonna see another uh, Inteleon V Max. Oh, Frost Mod. And it's over the Inteleon V Max, okay. If he puts 60 here, we're actually gonna be in trouble. I think we should. I think we should <laughs> punish down that Frost Mod, although he also has a Pokemon right here. Hitting for weakness, fellas. Hitting for weakness. Come on. What is he gonna do? Does he have capacious buckets or not? Energy to the Inteleon V. V Max. Okay, this is scary. Max bullets. Okay, now we are in a pickle. We need to find like. Reset stamp? Yeah, we need to find a reset stamp ASAP. Okay, the green is here just in time. Okay, this is. We're going all in on this fella. Whee! We also have Kremran, by the way. Okay. Going all in. Right? Green. Reset stamp, pick charm. I guess. I don't think we need anything at it at this point. Reset stamp to one. We do have the boss doors for next turn, so big charm. Two energy, so the set scourge is going wild. Bram! We stamped him to one card, and now we one shot anything in the game. And hopefully that is not a supporter in his hand. Then we can just finish the game right here. The giant heart is still alive. We one shot anything. Whatever he promotes, we take it on. Two cards in hand. Did we reset stamp him? Attachment. Dedene! Oh god! Did he get that Dedene from from the reset, reset stamp? Well, that's well played. There was nothing we can do. But you see how, how powerful uh, a well played the reset stamp could be if you play these magnetons down. Well, we tried. We were up against weakness. If you're not up against weakness, you're going to have such an awesome time with this deck. We're going to be playing some more games with Scourge Magneton. Wow, weakness. We could have already almost beaten an Inteleon deck if only he didn't top deck that Dedenne. You would expect, like, if you reset, st reset stamp to one and the opponent already used Quick Balls, already used Dedenne, as well as Crobat, that he didn't draw out of it. But, ah, it happens. Come on. Next game, what will we be up against up next? Okay, we're up against hopefully Eternus, so we can showcase that this list can beat Eternus. Tasty23 is our opponent. Okay, they go first. We want to go second anyhow, so Santa Scourge is here. We have a switch, the green can get ourselves a quick ball. Maybe two quick balls, we already have Magneton in here as well. Cool. We have a couple of Poke Gears as well, so you can get the full combo going. Thanks, another energy. Dangerous Drill, okay. We're up against Eternatus, which we can easily beat, I think, because we go through uh, the motions here. Attach an energy right there. <laughs> a funny place I've already seen doing is like use Poke Gear, boss's orders, and then use that first attack to buy yourself some time. I've seen that happen before. Zigzagoon pings. Oh no! Sent to Scourge. The Crobat for five. What else? We are just going to. If we welder, we can already take this guy out. But we need to find a quick ball. Okay, Magnemind. That's fine. Mm hmm. I think I will use this. We're gonna go for switch. Hey, are all of our switches gone? Yeah, we do have a switch in hand. Okay, <laughs> what am I saying? Quick ball. 
We do get all the supporters from the deck thanks to Magneton, so we might as well get that giant heart for now. Yeah, looks okay to me. Pokey gear goes away. Two fires, actually one fire. <laughs> then the giant heart. Giant heart, get rid of that. One, two. Quick ball, the Volcanion. Let's do this again. Switching around. Flare starter. One, two, three. Taking them all on ourselves. He could have bosses orders, which could actually ruin our entire strategy. <laughs> Let's hope he does not have that. He needs. Uh, Eternatus VMAX, he needs to get out of the active position, he needs to have boss and he needs to have more bench Pokemon. Will it be possible? Six cards in hand. Whiff it out. Come on. He already used two Great Balls, so maybe he does not have... Okay, there's an Eveltal. Maybe he whiffs on the Eternatus VMAX. Maybe. If this is a Crobat, it's gonna be good. Unless he is waiting to evolve just to surprise us, then I would be very, very sad. Zigzagoon popping up is fine. Hmm. Research. He's thinning the list so he can find Sand Scorch. Ah, uh, Enter Eternus V Max quicker. But that's not, not a boss's order, so I'm already glad that that happened. Here comes the V Max. Yeah, the good news is we can target down this VMAX, I think, or maybe immediately go after that one. We one-shot him in anyhow at one point. He already got rid of like a Zigzagoon. Don't know if, he, if he's running scoop up nets or not. If he's still stuck in the active, that would also be good. We can use Magneton, blow ourselves up, Lieutenant Surge, Welder, and maybe a boss? With five energies, we take this guy down for sure, and then we can reaccelerate that energy. It's cool. Okay, there's a switch guard, there is the Eternatus, and he's gonna smack and go all in. Okay. We don't have Sent Scorch V Max just yet. This to the side. Okay, let's blow, let's blow ourselves up. Let's get Lieutenant Surge Welder. If we get Lieutenant Surge Welder at six energy, still not enough. Lieutenant Surge Welder Welder and hope we get the Santa Scorch. There's also two uh, Evolution Incense in there. That's our only way we win for sure. Okay, let's get two energy straight from the bat. So our chances of drawing into an evolution incense is higher. Come on! Surge, we draw six cards. We just need to find the Santa Scorch V Max. Still haven't found it. Come on! Scary! Oh, -hoo -hoo. oh boy! Oh boy! Seven energies, eight energies, is that enough? Eight. I think it's eight energies is, uh, I think that's enough, right? Come on. <laughs> well played, putting him to four card hand. Nine, 18 to, is that enough? Is that enough? G Max at Inferno. <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. Look at that. This, this Eternatus goes down instantly, like the Magneton explodes and you say like, oh boy, look at that! And that's why we love it, and what now? We have a boss, we have a Sand Scourge on the bench. There's nothing he can do. Whatever Eternatus he sets up, we boss. And that's game. Wow, the pure power of this deck. Insane. He already said well played. Is there a way out? 
If you knock this guy out, we lose all of our energies though. But we also have Cramorant, which we can set up, which is awesome. So at this point, you just set up a Cramorant and just win the game from there. Just need to welder onto one Cramorant and you win. Okay, there is Eternatus, so we can boss and win the game. Okay, stamp the tree. A little bit harder. We've already uh, wasted two Poke Gears. There's one Poke Gear in hand. Six cards. We need to find the boss's orders. We haven't used any. We can, of course, still slap down a Volcanion. Volcanion can also take this guy down. Hoopa is gonna put up some pressure. A little bit of damage. Come on. Energies. More energies. Okay, boss's orders. Two of them in there. Scary. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Give me the big one. Woohoo! Go down, Eternus! 400 damage, and then the Scent Discord is happy as it is. <laughs> okay, I understand the deck now. We have Poke Gears for the late game bosses and all that. Magnetum blows itself up and showcases that using double welder is way too good. Or welder and bosses, or to say the least. Okay, one more game with this funky deck. Sent the Scourge with Magneton. Who would have thought? It, it works very well. As seen in this video, if you get the combo rolling, you're gonna have an awesome time. Lightning Box. Is this going to be a peek around deck? Come on. They're calling the coin flip. Tails never fails. Come on. There we go. We're gonna go second. Thank you. Get a Magnemite, explode him, and then go crazy. We even have the Volcanion, so with the green we get a, um, a quick ball, so this is a good hand. What is with us getting so many good hands? Toxel? What? Okay, <laughs> this is a mill deck. In this kind of a mill deck, we just need to find Welder and just go crazy. Alright, that's all we need. Flare starter on ourselves, I guess. The problem is that he has way too much HP. So I think it's better to just get the quick ball. For the Scent Scorch. Yeah, and attack with Scent Scorch 180 time and time and time again. So also getting myself a switch card. Sure. Uh, yeah, here we go. Quick ball, getting rid of the Volcanion. And here comes Santa Scorch. That's the one we should attack within a, a mill matchup. Flare starter. One, two, three. Don't go overboard with these kind of things. If he doesn't evolve, we can also knock him out with Volcanion, by the way. He only seems to have four cards in hand. He will probably use a research, if I'm being honest. Okay, here comes Alolan Grimer. We do have lots of items in our deck, so if he evolves, he can, oof, two cards going down the drain. As well as Toxtricity, he's gonna try and mill us. Scoop up net. This again. <laughs> Only one, okay, we're good. Research, maybe he mills himself if he doesn't get the Glimwood Tangle. Yeah, 120, that's what I thought. So, Volcanion, there, there's nothing Volcanion can do here. Six cards. Is there another Toxel or is he just going to go on full on Alolan Grimer style? <laughs> or a Corio as well. Okay, that gives us multiple prize cards. I think I will blow up my Magneton and get two bosses orders. Woof. Yeah. I will take this. Magneton. I will blow him up and I will get my two bosses. I don't know if that's the correct play. He mills five cards a turn, right? But I probably will need my boss in order to just tackle his little Toxels and Oracorios. Switch. Knocking this guy out first. 
Burning train. Boom. Just 180 flat. One prize card. Just gotta go with this flow. We have the boss. We have the Santa Scorch. We even have the Santa Scorch VMAX, which actually is better because it can accelerate from the discard if we use his crushing hammers. I don't know if he's if he plays crushing hammers or not, but. Alolo Muck again. I think I will target down the Toxel before it evolves. They only seem to have one. Yeah, this again. How many things is he gonna be able to discard this time? One. Fine, we're fine. We're gonna boss this guy and then we're gonna boss that guy. That is the order we should take. How many scoop up nets in here? One. Okay. Scoop up that again. A little muck. Gonna try it again. At one point, we won't have any energies left. Or any um, trainers left, to say the least. So those Alolan mucks will no longer be the issue. We have lots of energies left in the deck. Yeah. One or two. Bird Keeper? Was that zero? <laughs> Was that zero? Funny. Yeah, collect all the cards you want. Boss. Um, this. So he is uh, having a little bit more issues. Santa Scorch is live. Let's go. G Max Sentiferno. 200. I am uh, very wary that he's probably going to be using some sort of crushing hammer build. Yeah, there we go. We have another boss. And that last boss will go on to the Oracorio. We're gonna keep all these cards in hand until we're ready. Just need to knock out two Pokemon and then boss this guy. Should be okay. Great ball. And if you guys were wondering, we also tested this list out before. The Alolan Mach one. Okay, Curse Shovel on this guy. Scooping him up again. It's gonna be pretty close, I think. We have not overplayed all of our stuff. He still keeps using Alolan Mach. At one point, we won't have any items left, though. Ooh, 20 cards left in the deck. Glimwood Tangle is back. Bird Keeper again. He's drawing so many cards, it's ridiculous. Great ball. Maybe he's whiffing on energies? Nah, he's not, he's, maybe he has triple accelerated energies in hand. Curse Shovel <laughs> on the Oricario, for sure. Collect. Yeah, we're gonna wait with the uh, boss's orders. Just gonna go crazy with this time and time again. We need to knock out one and then boss's orders the last one onto the Oricario. Still have the boss. He can discard five, we draw a card, we knock him out. The, the Alolan Mux could become crazy. Come on, flip double tails, I, I dare you. Double tails, that's what we want to see here. The risk taker. Cynthia and Captain. He's drawing so many cards, it's crazy. Looking for scoop up nets, or s yeah, maybe some crucial parts are priced. We already used three scoop up nets, so in that regard, we should be okay. Yeah, come on, give it to us. The risk taker. Tails! Tails again, come on! <laughs> flawless, flawless. Okay, they just concede. <laughs> Okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed us playing with Tord Radcliffe's Senti Scorch Magneton list. I had a lot of fun with it personally. Try it out for yourself. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button. Let me know your thoughts about this specific list in the comment section below. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very shortly. Peace out. Don't play mill. <laughs>